Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we are going to create a web app. And basically, a web app is an HTML URL address that you create through Google Sheets. And what it does is you can use it to populate a Google Sheet from what you input. So you can create custom forms on these web apps. And I'll demonstrate here by putting a name in here and then basically submitting it like an HTML page and over here it loads it into the Google Sheets. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to put this together. So let's get started. Here I'm started with a new Google Sheet. I called it Web App and my sheet name is Sheet 1 and that is all I'm doing with this Google Sheet. Next I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to Script Editor. Here I'm going to go ahead and name my project. I'm going to call this Web App as well. So I got that created. The first thing I'm going to do is I got my code GS page, which I'm going to keep. I'm going to add another page. I'm going to go to File, New, HTML File. I'm going to name this web app. I'm just going to keep all the naming simple here. Hit OK. Here's my HTML file. So I'm going to go back over to code GS here. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy in the code I need. So these are the two functions I'll be using. I'm going to get rid of this first one. I'm going to delete that out. So this do get is a standard Google Apps Script function. This actually calls the web app and translates your HTML file into the screen that I showed you in the beginning. And then the next function here will grab our record, our first name and last name, and put it in the Google Sheet. And I'll kind of explain this in more detail. Next, we're going to go to our web app HTML file. We're going to build this. This is kind of the standard here is what they show you. I'm going to add in our HTML to build our screen. So I'm going to go ahead and copy in the input tags. So here I got my first name, which is the input text, and I'm going to ID it as first name. I got my last name, input text, ID it as last name. And then the last statement is my button, which I have an on-click action to call some JavaScript. So the next thing I'll do is add in the JavaScript into this HTML file. So I have added in my JavaScript, and here's my add row function, which I'm calling off the on-click. And basically all I'm doing is I'm getting the first name value from my input down here. And I'm using this get element by ID. It's a standard JavaScript function. I'm getting the value. I'm also doing the same thing for last name. And then the next thing I'll be doing is calling this Google Apps Script function that does the add record. And back here is my function of add record. And I'm passing the first name and last name through. I'm going to go back over here. And in my last two statements here is I'm setting the value back to nothing. So after I hit the button, it's going to grab the values, send the values to the function, and then clear the values of my form. So I'm ready to submit another name, basically, after I submitted it once. So I'm going to go back to my code GS. So here I got my first name and last name passing through. Next thing i got to do is i got to define the URL of the Google Sheet that I'm going to be passing these values to. So I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets. I'm going to grab this URL that I just created. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to set it in as the URL value. So that's my URL of the Google Sheet. My next statement is I'm getting the this sheet. I'm opening up the URL with this sheet. I'm grabbing the sheet name, which is my sheet one which is from down here. And then what I'm doing is I'm appending a row to it with first name, last name, and a date. And this is just the Google Apps script way of grabbing the current date. So here's my first name, last name there. So it'll be coming across in rows, or row one, columns A, B, and C as I get started. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save each file. I'm going to save that one. I'm going to go back over to my web app HTML. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this do get statement to get through my permissions. 
So I'm going to go ahead and run that. It's going to pop up my permissions. I'm going to review them. I'm going to select my account. I'm going to select advanced. I'm going to select go to web app. And I'm going to select allow. So that is complete. And the next thing we'll do is we'll get publish our web app. So I'm going to go up to publish. I'm going to go to deploy web app. And from here, I'm going to give it a name. Call it web app. Execute the app as myself. And then I'm going to do give access just to myself. And you can do anyone or anyone even anonymous. So you can give this out to basically anybody if you open up the security. I'm just going to keep it to myself. I'm going to hit deploy. And it's going to give me my URL of my web app. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that all the way down. Up here, I'm going to open up a new screen. I'm going to go ahead and paste that. I'm going to hit enter. Now, here's my form that came up. So I'm going to add my name. Hit add. I'm going to go back over to my Google Sheets. And there it is added. Now, just a couple suggestions, though. I can go back over here. I'm going to hit OK. If you make a change in here, say you want to say you want to change something in your web app HTML. Instead of saying last name, you want to say second name. So you want to hit save. And then you go to publish again. And you hit deploy web app. And it says project version 1. You want to go to new here because one is what you're what you have now. You want to go to a new one so you get your updated changes. So you hit new again. You can hit web app two, and I'm gonna keep all this and I'm gonna hit update. Here it's gonna give me a new URL. So I'm copy that. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna populate that in. And now here I got my change of second name. So it's important to change the rev if you're going to make changes to your HTML, as well as this too, as your, your code GS, you make changes to that. So that concludes this video. This is a very just simple demonstration of a web app. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.